Hello, I'm back here, and as I said in my last video, I am going to open up some packs. So here we are again in Eternal, and as you can see, I have 42 packs. So I'm going to go ahead and probably open 40 of them. And uh, at the beginning, I'll I'll go through and. Um, to show you like the anatomy of a pack and what you can get and then uh, I'll probably go a little bit faster as we just get a lot of the same so here we go first pack all right first up as you can see we gained some ship stones and then um, uh, right here is the uh, is either the rare or the legendary. Um, blue is rare, and then legendary would be uh, kind of an orange um, So you can see all these bottom cards are all common cards. And then you have three uncommons. This is a common also. And you can tell the rarity by the symbol at the bottom. See it's it's green and then this one is just gray. So gray is common. Uh, green is uncommon. And then and then you have blue which is the rare. So right now some let's see. Uh, banners are always good. Um, it, they're really good. I mean even in two color decks uh, definitely three color decks. Um, strangers are okay. Uh, these that give you uh, two different powers, but only certain ones. Um, and they're really for doing like a, a three or four color deck. Uh, this guy's pretty good. Yeah, um, if you increase his power, he gets life steal. So um, you know that's pretty good. Uh, Uncommons, you have Twilight Raptor, uh, Cabal Recruiter, Aegis Mentor. Uh, this one's not that good, but that guy and that guy are okay. I mean, the Shogun's okay. Um, he can be like a surprise. You, you play him, and then all your creatures get double damage. Um, you know, and you could just wreck your opponents with him. Alright, let's go to the next pack. And pack two, we have a legendary. So let's see, this guy's really good. I like burning a lot. Sacrifice creature do five damage. Um, uh, Wisdom of the Elders is great. Uh, the Sword of Ikeria is great. Um, this guy's pretty good. So let's see what kind of. Alright, Sandstorm Titan, he's, he's actually one of the most played uh, legendaries. I think I already have a full set of them, but maybe not. And let's see, next pack. Alright, I currently use him in a deck. Um, of course, Banner's good. Swift Blade's pretty good. I've been thinking about making a Static Bolt deck. Uh, I like the ranger. Uh, ranger. Uh, he's good. He's good. I like him a little bit over costed though. He's really good in draft though. And I don't know. I haven't tried this guy out yet. It's pretty interesting. All right, invulnerable to damage. Yeah, not really a, a guy you're gonna uh, be seeing in ranked play. All right, let's see here. Yeah. Uh, this guy's okay. Uh, this is a good card, and this is a good card. And the rear, yeah, he doesn't see play. All right. Ooh, another legendary. All right. Uh, let's see another burnout lightning strikes good. Sanitize is actually okay. Um, Permafrost is good. 
I've been seeing more decks with the Nomad lately. Um, Excavate's really good in, in a control deck. Um, let's see here. Oh, this guy's played a lot uh, in the multicolor. Um, uh, blue, white. Um, what else do they use? I think they have green and a little bit of purple in their deck. He's, he's pretty good. I mean, look at him. I mean, it's 5 mana for 6-6. Six, six. And then he has Overwhelm, so that means your damage can trample over to the enemy player. And then, whenever a creature blocks him, or if he blocks a creature, it turns that unit into a 2-2 pig. So, I mean, it could be like an 8-8 eight, eight creature, and it turns into a 2-2 pig. And then he just tramples over. I mean, it seems pretty good. Alright, next one. Alright, again, I like him. Eh, eh. Uh, very good here. This guy's good. Inspire. It's a decent weapon. People don't usually play it, though. Um, I've seen decks trying to use this. It's, yeah. Uh, Ornate Katana. Um, it's in a lot of the beatdown decks. Um, I like this guy. I'm surprised that, well, like a legendary in the last pack, I'm surprised that deck doesn't use these just as kind of a early blocker. This guy's really good. Um, he's in my favorite deck right now. It's a, it's a uh, red green weapon deck, which I'll probably show in a, another video. I'm kind of just grinding with it right now. Um, let's see, eh, again, this guy, I've seen this in a few decks, but I mean, it's okay, um, this, this is good, uh, make three combo tokens, um, yeah, that weapon doesn't see it, but, alright, next, alright, he's pretty good, um, this is in some of the beatdown decks. Um, this has some some tricks in some certain decks. Um, if I get the creature out of here that they play this on, I'll show you. It's a it's a little combo they have. Um, this guy's good ambush, and then uh, see so you, you can play it at the end of their turn or whatever, and. Uh, silence another unit. Uh, again, lightning strikes good. This guy's no, this guy's not good. Um, and this guy's good. Okay, this guy. I have a green white deck, and I play four of these guys. And I mean, it's just a two two, but then you get to choose one one scorpion. It has deadly, a flying locust, or. Uh, a sand problem with overwhelm. Usually I pick the three three, but uh, sometimes the deadly one. It's it's just a little bit easier to kill. So. All right, next one. Uh, these two go in the same deck. Um, uh, Backlash is uh, pretty much a counter spell, but it can only counter spells. It can't counter creatures. So, and then it does two, two damage to them. Uh, this used to be played in a lot of the control decks. I haven't seen it in a long time. Um, this guy right here is real popular. Because um, he's ambush, he's deadly. So you can uh, block a, a creature. Um, yeah. And then this guy is in a deck. Uh, there's some weapons that you can... Their power and toughness are equal to the amount of uh, 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 source that you use on them. So, and since he has Aegis, um, there's like a little bubble on the creatures. So, it makes it hard to kill. And then they throw away a 6-6 six, six, uh, weapon on them. And then they just start swinging. It, it's really good. Spire Chaplain, 
when he attacks, draw just the signal. No, it doesn't really see play. Next pack. Big guy. I like this card. It doesn't see a lot of play though. But then that guy. Bill Captain. Yeah. This pack isn't isn't all that good. Alright, I've now I've been playing against a couple decks that uh, use this. And so they get an Aegis on their avatar. And then this becomes a six mana six six flyer, so that's pretty good. All right, next one. Um, this guy's decent. This guy's okay, but he costs four, and he only has two toughness. So you have to be pretty lucky that if he stays alive, by the time you can put a weapon on him or something, you do a lot of damage. Um, of course that guy is good. Uh, second, second sight, draw two cards and put a card from your hand on top of your deck. Uh, there's a few creatures that have Echo. And what Echo is, is when you draw it, you get an extra copy of it. So people play those cards and then, so they'll cast this and then they'll put one of those cards back on top of your library so they get an extra two. Pretty neat. Um, Nothing special. This guy right here, he used to not have the gain three life. They added that, and it's, it's really good. Um, there's a spell that uh, costs just two mana that lets you bring a, a creature from the graveyard and, um, or the discard pile. I don't know what it's called in this game. Uh, and then you get to attack automatically with it and it gets flying so this is like drawing three cards and then gaining three life it's yeah it's really good i haven't seen really people playing it though um play a unit from the void uh, kind of a reanimator spell not too many decks use it all right next one And this one's decent. I really like this because a lot of people play uh, one toughness creatures, so it's pretty good. Um, this was changed. This one used to be when it comes into play, you deal two damage to your opponent and you gain two life. I actually like it better that way. Uh, Given it enemy unit minus one, minus one. I, I don't know. I really don't like this. Uh, this is seen in some decks. It's mainly to break uh, opposing creatures Aegis. Um, you know, they cast it on it and then their opponent goes away. Uh, this card is used in a lot of decks just as an extra mana source. Uh, this guy's eh, not too good. Held in Oathbook. It's okay, it's when, uh, when you attack uh, the enemy player with exactly one unit, it gets plus one, plus one. So pretty much attack with one creature, and it gets plus one, plus one. And the plus one, plus one lasts all the time. So it's not like it's just a temporary thing. All right, let's see here. I love this card. Uh, three magic people, giant girls. Yeah, it's, it's really good, and a lot of people don't play it, so it actually... Uh, surprises them when you when you use it. Um, uh, this guy's good. Um, you drop him and then uh, play power, and then he gets uh, plus one plus one every time you play power. So it um, it really you, your opponents have to deal with it is the main thing. Uh, this guy. So if two of your creatures attack or deal damage to the opponent, then you get to play this guy for free. So he's pretty popular in uh, the beat down decks. They're red, purple beat down decks. All right, 
Crystalline Chalice once per turn. You may pay two and exhaust one of your units. It gets plus two, plus two, and you draw a card. I don't think I've ever seen anyone play that in right. In draft, yeah. Alright. Uh, this guy's pretty good. When he comes into play, you get a Sigil, uh, a power. Um, and all right, this guy's in the beatdown deck. I like this in green-white decks. All right. All right, so when you play it, you use up all your uh, power, and then you get uh, plus, let, let's say you have seven power, so it would be a seven power, one toughness, uh, or one defense. Relic weapon. So it's pretty good. I've seen a couple that uh, use it. Alright, Burning Up. Um, I really like Inspire. So this is the uh, the main weapon that people use with that 1-1 uh, flyer. That green 1-1 one -one flyer. Um, it's, it's pretty powerful if you don't have a way to deal with it. These right here are, are powers that if you have less than 5 power and you play it, then it becomes whatever color it is. So this would be the, the blue. Um, if you have 5 or more power, then it would cost uh, 5 power and then you would get whatever uh, creature it says. So this one becomes a 3-4 uh, flying storm dancer. Uh, kill all enemy enchantments. Play a 1-1 wisp for each one kill. Uh, so it kills weapons, things like that. The, the 5 mana is just too much. It really is. Alright, next pack. I don't know, where's our legendaries? Alright, draw two cards, this guy. Uh, not really anything. Nothing too special. Um, very powerful guy here. Flying, 3-3 three, three for 3, and then you uh, silence a unit when he comes into play. So, he's just great. Um, really good. If you're playing green, uh, you should probably have him in your deck. Next. Alright. And. Ancient Lord, draw two cards. Uh, creatures you draw with this get plus one, plus one. It's a really good spell. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, killer, when he kills a unit, he gains that unit's plus one. Or get get set units power and, and defense. The problem with this is it's only three three, so you can only kill a two two or less unless you give it a weapon or something. So and you can only use killer ones. Yeah, it's it's not very good. Next, did that. Uh, this is pretty good in uh, uh, Fire Shadow decks. Um, when it, so it's a creature, 2-2. Two, two. When it dies, you get a 2-2 a, a, a two, two armor into your hand. Uh, and it, it only costs one. Or it, no, it costs two to equip. So it, it's good. Um, so it's good. Another really good weapon. Um, it's four one, so you think, oh man, it's it's not that good. But when you put it into play, you're invulnerable to damage that turn. So it's just like it just kills a creature, you know, with four toughness or less. All right, let's see here. Uh, Dark Return is pretty good. It, it brings a creature uh, from the void into your hand um, and then gives it plus one, plus one. 
Nothing else too good. Uh, let's return and sacrifice any to deal two damage. Not really good. Alright, next. Uh, feeding times, good removals, smell, because it, it turns the, um, as you can see up here, it, it turns whatever you target into a 2 true pig, and then it kills it, and then here's those uh, creature uh, sources. Alright, this is good. This is good in that deck that has the creatures with Echo. So, um, you use that spell to... Um, Put the creature back on top of your library. They draw it again. It gets an extra random skill. Um, so it can be pretty good as long as they survive to be able to uh, do different things with it. Uh, this guy's pretty good. 3 3. Um, not very many people play it. I do. And uh, they have to kill it right away. So, um, excavate. Uh, probably more transform a unit into a frog. Um, there's actually an achievement uh, that's uh, transform a certain number of creatures into frogs. And um, I thought that was pretty funny. You're going to build the damage. Again, not very good. Fun! Mm, this guy's good. Uh, he's in most, if your deck is green and you beat them, uh, this is going to be in the deck, uh, usually along with these. Uh, rise to the challenge, draw a unit or weapon of your choice from your deck, it gets plus, plus two power. So this is really good in the weapon deck. Um, it usually has these uh, cards in it. Very, very good. Next. All right, again, that one. And Furnace. So this guy, if he's in your hand, on your, on your opening hand, he becomes zero mana. So, and then, so you can play him. He gets an attack right away, so he has charge. He also has overrun, so he can trample over your enemy. And then uh, at the end of your turn, you have to sacrifice him. So pretty powerful. And there's some uh, there's some cre there's a creature that uh, there's a shadow creature uh, that costs two mana that lets you uh, bring a, a a creature back. From the void and put it into play as long as it uh, uh, I think as long as it costs one or less so I think you can use that with the furnace so pretty powerful uh, this is really good kill an enchantment game three wives the control decks use it um, oh here's a, a foil card I probably missed some other foil cards all right, so this guy's 7-7, seven, seven. Uh, he has Entomb, so that's when it goes into the void, or when it dies, uh, the enemy player's life total becomes 7, so, yeah, okay, next, Ooh. we're on a straight torch, uh, normal 3 damage spell, like most card games have. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, Deadly Maiden's really good when an enemy unit dies. You turn it into a, a plus two plus two stone cudgel, and you draw it. Uh, so it goes into your hand, and uh, and it has deadly. So we can just kill kill creatures. Uh, just by touching it. So, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm glad I got that one. The streak is broken. There's another uh, foil. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, another brimstone altar. Nothing too special this fall. Alright, next. Yeah. Um, yeah, nothing too special. Uh, crystallizes used in some control decks. And, uh,. It, it stuns and it deals one damage to each enemy unit. So, I mean, you could have seven units out and it'll stun all of them and do a damage to them. So, that's, it's pretty powerful if you're, you can stay alive to cast it. Alright, next up. Uh, this guy is used in that Echo deck. So, flying, uh, when you summon it, you can put a card from your hand on top of your deck and then you reduce its cost by two. So, that creature that has Echo, it normally costs three, and it's called a Clock Roach. And so you can put it on top of your library, and it only costs one. And so, it's very good. And, all right, let's see here. Summon, transfer all, transform all cards in your hand into three three four hand circuits. And they cost two mana each. Doesn't seem to play. Alright, let's see here. This guy is good. Ancient War. Alright, when a spell is played directly on a horn, and boy, you draw a card. Yeah, no one plays it. Alright, next. Yay, yeah, legendary. Um. Alright, nothing too special here. Ooh, Kalo, Uncrowned Prince. So first off, he's a 6-6, six, six, he has charge. And then it says, play a random weapon on each of your red units. Your fire units. Pretty powerful, I haven't seen anyone play him. I mean, obviously it's a... Uh, it costs 8, so it, it's a little bit high. And usually red is, is smaller pictures that just kind of beat down. So it doesn't really fit. Alright, here's a new one we haven't seen in a while. Uh, Warcry, Warcry and Quick Draw. So, um, you know, you put a weapon on this guy and he's really hard to kill. So, uh, he's real popular in the... Uh, uh, the beat down decks. Uh, this guy, I really like this guy in my uh, in my weapon deck uh, because let's say I, I play a sword of a carrier which has uh, uh, two defense, then this guy becomes free and uh, and adds another two defense to my weapon, so I can I can kill something and usually it stays alive. Grim Stranger. When one, one or more strangers attack, deal that much damage to the defending player. This would probably be good if there was more things to do with strangers. Right now they're just spread out through all the colors a lot. That's interesting. Alright, Sig Power, Obsidian Golem, Student. Let's build this guy. Yeah, nothing too special. Uh, this is in the, uh, a lot of the beatdown decks, the uh, uh, fire justice ones. Um, I personally don't use them because if he's silenced, he, he loses these buffs. So he becomes just a, a dorky 1-1. One -one. So uh, I'm not too big on him. Next up. Here's that second site. And there's that sword I was talking about. Um, this, this one's really good because it's only one mana and, and you get flying. You only get plus one, plus one, but just the flying, like you can put it on this guy and he becomes a 3-3 three, three flyer with Warcry and Aegis. And uh, yeah, it, it's just, it's good. Uh, this, this card's really good here. Draw a card of your choice from your deck. I mean, it is six mana, but it's a fast spell. 
some commands you can use it on your opponent's turn too. And then, um, yeah, you can you can get whatever you want from your deck. So you can make kind of a, a toolbox deck if you want. All right, let's see. Hand on to it. All right, and let's see. Play a copy of one of your units. Eh, it, it doesn't cease. Let's see. Play. All right, next up. Come on, legendaries! All these packs, we've only had, what, four legendaries, I think? Oh, that's shiny. Uh, nothing too special. Okay, whenever, so whenever you play a source, you can double his power. And that works if he has a weapon on him, too. So, let's say you have this on him. So he's a 3-2. And you play power, and he becomes a 6-4. So, pretty strong, but he doesn't really see play because it's uh, pretty easy to kill. Uh, uh, this deck, or this card is being... Uh, I've seen a lot of people use it in a shadow deck, um, where the uh, not shadow, uh, primal the blue, um, where they use the discard spells, and then they discard that, so they still get the two signals. So it, it seems alright. All your units get killer. It the five uh, uh, sources. Just too much for it. Doesn't see play. Next, uh, here's the discard spell that they use for, for that. Uh, plus one power for each of your units in the, in the void. I mean, it can be okay. It doesn't see play. Alright. Uh, this guy is awesome. I, I've already talked about him now. Sparring partner is in a lot of the beatdown decks. Because you can throw, throw a cheap weapon on him. And then it gets plus 3 power. So he becomes really strong. So make sure you have your torches so you can kill it. Come on, legendaries. Alright. Nothing really new. Uh, Umbrid Reaper uh, flying, and then when he dies, uh, deal 5 damage to the enemy, and you gain 5 life. So you really want to silence this guy if he comes into play. All right, let's see what he's strike. Eh, nothing too special. Ah, this guy again. Like I said, he's, I, I really like him. Uh, couple good cards, nothing too special. Charge deals double damage to players. Uh, I don't think I've, I've seen it be used. Alright, last one. Boy, oh, actually went over 40. 40 decks. Packs, I'm sorry. Uh, Armor Smith. I really like this guy. He um, He's a 1 5 for 5, um, but he is deadly. And then when he comes into play, he gains 5 life. So I'm surprised more control decks don't use them. And the last one, another crown. All right, well, as you can see, I gained a bunch of ship stones. And no, I didn't have an extra of that legendary, or I didn't have four of them yet. So. Okay. Well, that's 42 packs being opened. 
uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, um, you know, give me a give me a thumbs up and and subscribe. And I'm gonna be making more videos. Thank you very much.